Good now, beautiful soul family. How are you? Callista here with a unicorn healing solar meditation to best prepare ourselves for the solstice. I'm sure you're feeling the energy is running really high. Here in the Northern Hemisphere, we're going to be celebrating midsummer. And I've been feeling the call for the last maybe week or so just to be outside as much as I can um, to connect and breathe in the solar codes that are coming through, connect with the elementals and the unicorns and nature herself. What about you? How are you feeling? Before we share this meditation, let me know. How are you feeling in the run-up to solstice? How is it influencing you, impacting you? What is your sense of this particular solstice? Everyone, of course, is a gateway for us and... Um, Ever since I was a wee girl, I've absolutely loved this date. Um, I remember when I was younger, playing more with the fairies and talking to crystals than I did actually people. I didn't really want to be around people. I didn't have many friends. Um, and as I grew up, people didn't really understand me either. So I was, and it, it's, it's, it's lent itself really well to what I do for a living. Um, but yeah, the, the fairies are really speaking loudly and so are the unicorns. And I wanted to share this meditation with you that came forward through my own personal practice this morning. If you've been following along on the Unicorn Healing Tribe page, the 30 Day Sadhana that all of the students of Unicorn Healing are doing this year, I'm sharing my personal practice there. And today I'm on day seven. And so I sat outside and I asked my main guide, Hethgar, this huge, big, um, sometimes he comes forward as black, sometimes white, sometimes no form, but he's of a Celtic lineage, Celtic unicorn. And I said, okay, Hethgar, whatever I need to know, whatever I need to um, be focused on today, or just in general, please come forward and give me those visions. And first of all, it was just really nice and slow and steady the energy coming through and then he took me in this visualization which is the same one I want to guide you on because it's a really good way to prepare your energy field for this particular solstice which is like a huge I mean they're always huge opportunities every day every moment is an, is an ascension portal isn't it if we really embrace it like that but this particular solstice is really bringing through if it could be summed up in a word it's possibility like, what is the possibility? Um, often the human mind looks upon the negative and we have like negative bias when people say something or, you know, the thoughts that we're running in our head. The unicorns are completely different. To them, their default setting is what more is possible? What more is possible? How can I juice this opportunity? What can grow from this experience? They're always in that side, which is just so inspiring. And it's a great place to, this is why the sadhana, this consecutive 30 day practice is so powerful. Um, but this particular solstice is just, is like that energy is what is possible? What is possible? What can be possible? What can you make possible in your relationships and your commitment to your path? your contribution, your work, your service, what more is possible? Okay, so let's feel into that energy just for a moment and think about what you want to birth in your life. Because this meditation, we're really going to be planting the seeds for what you want to birth, what you want to create, what you want to co-create, what you want to bring through, gift, receive and so on. Okay, so we're just going to get into it now. So if you are driving, please just save this video and come back and watch it later. But if you can, if it's safe to do so, then please join me in this meditation. So let's just take a deep breath into our heart. And a full breath out. And if this is the first time that you've consciously just slow down to breathe and to center then really juice this breath another big breath in and big breath out and just being here in this moment 
And in this moment, there is no past, there's no future, there's just the now. There's just the now. Connecting with the most expansive aspect of you. And if you call that aspect your higher self, your I am, your inner being, just step in fully to that aspect of you that is way beyond the mind, the body, the soul, the spirit, even your deity consciousness, way beyond all of that. Step into pure awareness, pure awareness. Just breathe. Letting go of any need that you have to do anything, visualise anything, be anything. You are perfect just the way you are in this moment. And send out an invitation to your guides, angels, unicorns, elementals, spirit animals, all your team. Ask them to join you in this experience. Asking your ancestors to come in. And the download came forward this morning that we are the ancestors of our grandchildren. We are the ancestors. So as much as we're calling in previous lineage, lineages, we're also calling in that aspect of us that potential that we all have each and every one of us have to leave a legacy just like our ancestors did so we connect with that too and we bring that all into this moment all that power all that wisdom all that light breathing it in and then i want you to imagine that you're outside in nature it doesn't matter where but somewhere where you can feel the sun, the rays of the sun streaming down. Imagine, no sense this to be true, as the sunlight warms your brow, your forehead, your crown. Breathing in the sun's rays into your crown, into your third eye. Breathe it down into your throat, out through your ears, down into your high heart chakra, heart expanding out. And then take that light to every part of your body inside and outside. Feeling how the sunlight is purifying you, cleansing you. As any unwanted attachments or connections just fall away in the wake of this light. And any sounds that you hear just take you that deeper. Until all that's here is just you and the power of all your guides breathing through you as you and this bright, brilliant sun And in this moment, know that the sun is so much more than just part of our solar system. It is the beating heart, the higher self of this ascending universe. And it contains right at its heart, councils of light, avatars, creator angels, all who are here in support of you and your ascension because they know the value and the purpose that you have and the legacy, the legacy of 
wisdom and light that you're going to be leaving, that you're sharing now, but you will leave on this earth that impact. And so feel their love. And allow yourself just to gently levitate from where you are. Just come off the ground. Feeling this pool of the sun's light. Acting as a gentle lift around your body. It's lifting you up. And you're in this column of pure solar light and it's raising you high and go quite high, go up into beyond the clouds, beyond the atmosphere. Maybe you want to go right to the edge of the earth or even higher. But feel yourself held in this column of golden light. Feel the warmth. Feel the vitality. That's it, breathing it in. And imagine that you have wings. And the wings begin <clears throat> if they're not out already, they begin to grow from the back of your heart. And just let them come out. If you need to move your body, adjust your neck or your shoulders so that your wings fully expand. And don't be surprised if your wings are much larger than ever before. And if you want, fan out your wings. That's it. Wake them up. Wake them up. If this is the first time that you've opened your wings, we ask the angels to open and activate your etheric wings on all levels of being. Bringing back the remembrance of your angelic lifetimes and your origin. So that you can use your wings from this point forward for comfort, for confidence, for shielding, protection, anything that you feel that you need. But for the purpose of this activation, you want to have your wings wide. That's it, span them out. And then turn yourself around so your wings are now facing the sun. And allow the sun's light to permeate your wings as they soak up the solar energy. And the reason we're doing this is because by your wings receiving this download, this fresh, new, all the new light codes, all the purity from the great central sun it really will level up your consciousness and level of awareness. So we take it in, we fuel up that light into our wings and the unicorns are inspiring us now to wrap our wings around our body just for a moment. And if it feels good, Begin to spin. So you're spinning. Your wings are around your body. The solar light is around your wings. And you're held in this brilliant column of light and you're spinning, spinning and spinning and spinning. And anything that hasn't been for you, any entities, implants, vows, contracts, any ET, IT influences, we are obliterating them, we are dissolving them straight into their origin 
And the way that we can do that, the most powerful way that we can do that is using pure unconditional love. And so we dissolve as we're spinning, as we're gaining that momentum, we're dissolving away and just see it. See everything that doesn't serve you just moving from your body, being cast out. Breathing, that's good. Breathing deeply. And then gently, the spin begins to slow down. Slow down. Slow down. And then face the sun again. Wings outstretched. Big breath in. And as an extra benefit for the souls who are in your life and that you are connected with, whether consciously, subconsciously, unconsciously, if they are receptive of this, what we're going to do, we're going to use our wings and we're going to send out this light that we've received and activated. We're going to send out to everybody who's in our reality and in our circle of trust that is receptive to the solar activation for solstice, we send that light. Sending that light, sending that light, going out and out and out. And there was a, a code that came in that we can use in 2015 from the Councils of Galaxies, Council of Galaxies, which is called the Universal Code of Communication. And this way, this frequency is how we can communicate with every sentient human being and living being on, in and around planet Earth. And really in the in this atmosphere, this ascending universe as well. We can connect to everybody. And of course, as we're sending, we're also connecting to self. So whatever you feel that you want to send, let's do this now. And all you need to do is say, universal code of communication. I now send, whatever you want, I want to send today, pleasure. Pleasure, joy and freedom is what I'm sending today. So universal code of communication. I now send pleasure, joy and freedom to all living beings. And see them receive, see them feel pleasure, no pleasure, no freedom, no joy. And of course, as you're sending out through your wings, you're also receiving that back in. So big breath in. Visualize everything that you want to birth, all the possibilities that you want to bring into your life. At an earthly level, maybe places you want to travel to, people you want to connect with, what you want to create and birth into the world. At a non-physical perspective, where are you ready to take your ascension, your spirituality? What are you ready to remember and know and empower? And let that energetic code of possibility flood your being, flood your wings, breathing in. And then in your own time and in your own way, please give thanks to the sun who is a sentient, aware, living being. Giving thanks to the sun, giving thanks to your helpers. Giving thanks to all the beings who 
enjoyed the meditation activation for everything that they sent because they sent it to you, brother and sister. So feeling those gifts, giving thanks as you gently take yourself back down from where you are, float yourself back down. And if you want, you can keep your wings nice and bright and big or you can pull them back in, put them back into your heart. Taking a big breath in, coming fully into your body. And I'm going to leave you there in case you just want to continue being in that vibration. Hope you have a wonderful solstice. And if you love this meditation, please forward it. Share it on. So much love. Mwah.